Good morning, everyone. Pastor Michael here. So honored to bring you your morning manna. All this week, we've been studying the power of the Word of God, and next week, we're going to talk about how to get the Word of God in you, how to get it to actually work inside of you. I love this passage in Proverbs chapter 30, verse 5 and 6. It says, every Word of God is proves true. Let that sink in for a moment. When you open it, you can believe it. You can't believe the newspaper. You can't believe almost anything you hear on television. You definitely can't believe the Internet. You can't believe your girlfriend, but you can always believe the Scripture. But watch this. Every Word of God is true. Now, now this is interesting. He's a shield to those who take refuge in him. What is the word of, what, what, what's the connection between the word of God being true and him being a shield to those who take refuge? Because the word of God will actually on the inside shield you from sin, shield your attitudes. It'll shield you on the outside. It'll shield you from physical harm. God's word is true and because it's true, it can be dependent on and it acts like a shield against everything that's fault, everything that's false and everything that's detrimental to you. Do not add to his words, it goes on to say lest he rebuke you and you be found a liar. The Bible is true in whole, it's true in part, it's true in every word of it because God cannot lie. This next passage is found in Deuteronomy chapter four, verse two. It's written by Moses a long time ago, but it sounds like it was written for us today. You shall not add to the word that I command you, nor take from it, that you may keep the commandments of the Lord your God that I command you. You know, in declaring this, it's almost like I said a moment ago, God anticipated the days that we're in, where people want to change the Word of God to fit their lifestyle instead of aligning their lifestyle to fit with God's Word. It's amazing how many people make, take this approach and to things in the Scripture that are clearly spelled out. Well, maybe that's not exactly what it means. Listen, I'm here to tell you that this, these words that are in your Bible, and, and if, you had a, if you had it with you, I'd just say, hold it, take a look at it. Because you'll be disappointed at first. You say, Michael, it's leather, it's paper, it's ink. That's, that's, that's it? No, no, no. It's what it contains. As we said a couple of days ago, it's theonoustos. It's breathed by God. It's living, it says, it says in the book of Hebrews. It's active. It'll change you. It'll transform you. It can fix your marriage. It can fix your mind. It can fix your heart. It can fix your sin problem. It can break your habit. It can, it can, it can, it can, on and on and on. It's powerful. It's the Word of God. Let's read some of it today. God bless you. Have a great one.